so I just got back from Walmart and Dollar Tree. I'm going to try to do our flower boxes really cheap but look nice. I don't know. We'll see how this turns out. I'm hoping it works and looks cute and doesn't just look like gaudy and cheap. <laughs> but anyways, I found all of these picks for only 97 cents. So they're technically Dollar Tree. They're a little cheaper than Dollar Tree. I like that they had the pine cones and the berries and that they're frosted. I'm leaving them in the bags though because they shed horribly. I also got these ones that just have the very like petite little berries. I'm gonna put those on top of my Walmart greenery that I already have. I already have them in my flower boxes. I ended up buying a ton of these little gingerbread houses from Dollar Tree and I want to try to make it very like simple. I want it to match the mat and I want it to match my mugs. <laughs> I just want it to look cute. Well anyways, I'm gonna take these off and I wanna somehow attach it. I'm thinking about using like um, command strips, attaching it to my flower boxes in the back and then have all the greenery in the front. So um, to paint these, I found this brown paint which I may have to lighten with white and then I also got this puff paint to um, make it look like icing. Also, they only had four of these gingerbread men, like gingerbread man, my Dollar Tree. So I went ahead and bought them. I can, I might return them if I don't use them. But I thought they were really cute and I may add those in somehow. But I'm gonna go ahead and just paint these and see how it comes out. Okay, so this is what I'm kind of mimicking. I used this last year on my wall. So what I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna use this putty. I cut off um, the top piece there. I'm gonna fill that in. So I'm gonna mix some white paint and this brown, because I feel like this brown is just too dark. And then kind of get that look, and then I'll go over with this puff paint. But I'm gonna go ahead and start painting now. Okay guys, I have one down, a million more to go. So that would be like 14 more to go. Wait, no, I think I have 14 total, so like 13 more to go. It's not perfect, and it's still drying, as you can see, it's still kind of wet. But I feel like when it's outside, you won't notice the imperfections as much, but I did do like a round door, a round red door to match that and my little cups that I drink out of. I don't know, I just think this will be really cute. Yeah, I can't be too perfect with it because then I'll be doing this forever. <laughs> and I, like I said, it'll be outside, so I think it'll be fine. So I'm officially done painting all of these. I also have one right here. This was the first one I had done, but look at all of these. And it honestly wasn't that bad to do this at first. After I got done with my very first one, I was like, oh no, this is gonna be awful. Well, I just split it up between a few days and I would just, you know, listen to stuff on my phone, podcasts and all that, and just do it whenever the kids were playing. So it really wasn't bad. So I made them all look like the doors over here. Even though they'll be outside, um, they'll also match the mat that I was showing. Now, you know they all came with these little hangers, but I filled in. Now, it's not perfect, you can kind of see, but I think far away you can't tell at all. But I did leave one of them hanging so I can put this on my wreath. And yeah, if you look close, you can still see like some imperfections, but we're not trying to be super perfect here. I just think it'll be really cute. And no one notices this, especially when it's outside. Okay guys, so this is our wreath for the front door. Just matches all the other decorations in my house. If you have watched any of my previous videos, I found this at Home Goods, and I thought it was beautiful. Well anyways, I'm gonna add my not so perfect, but cute gingerbread house in the middle, and that way it'll tie in with my outside flower boxes. So something I'm gonna do with the flower boxes is stick the little um, houses with these command strips, not the hooks, just the strips, because they stick really good. Um, I'm probably gonna run out of these, so I'll just run to the store and get more to attach them to the flower box, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. So I need to get more command strips to finish attaching these and to the other flower box. But in the meantime, I'm gonna add all of these dollar stems to add in some red and make it look a little fuller.
All right, guys, so the decor out here is officially done. And I was just gonna give you an overlook. I absolutely love how it turned out. Look, my daughter's in the window. <laughs> Hi. Well, anyways, so from the road, I feel like it looks so cute. And this was so cheap. So I just used all those dollar um, stems from Walmart. And then I do have a bunch of lights through here. Um, I have the colorful ones. So this year I thought it'd be fun for the for the kids and it just matches the colorful ones match more with the gingerbread theme I would say. But anyways, so I added just those battery pack ones. So they're nice I have them on timers and then this way I don't have to have any cords showing anywhere. Okay, and then over here by the door I have these two planters from Amazon and inside I just have these trees from Walmart. They were pre-lit but I added like I said the colorful um, lights and then I have this gingerbread that I painted from Dollar Tree and I have one over here too that you're gonna see so I just thought those would be cute just in the middle there I did spray them really good with some clear spray paint so I'm hoping that helps them not get damaged out here these picks are adorable they're from Walmart they were only four dollars each how perfect because it has the candy canes and the gingerbread that's like my theme up here I wanted to quickly share too that I added this five dollar ribbon to these like pillars and I have four of them and I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. This was such a cheap thing to do. And it just looks like candy canes from the road. But yeah, I just think this looks so cute and matches with the candy cane gingerbread theme. And then I obviously did the same over here. It matches so good with this rug that I have from Pottery Barn. My daughter opened this door. But I think my wreath came out adorable. Um, I also added colorful lights throughout my wreath. So it matches really good when it's all lit at night. We also have the bright color bulbs around the top of the house too. And then here's just a look at the other flower box. It just matches the other one. The last thing I wanted to share were these pillows. So I used to just have like some black pillows I have all like summer, spring. Um, but these ones I found all from, um, well, these ones back here were Walmart ones. It's those merry and bright ones. But it feels like that outdoor material. So I just made the red show. And then these obviously aren't outdoor material but i'm just hoping too that they'll just be okay they were only five dollars from walmart anyways so it won't be a big deal um if they get damaged but i just think it's cute it's the candy cane and the gingerbread so i think it all just flows really well and just looks so cute i'm so happy with it 